Hello everyone, you're welcome to Chem Freak. My name is Kemi Omorube. In today's video, I would like to teach you how to take beautiful pictures with your phone. Okay, so I'm not an expert, I'm not a photographer, but I am a fashion designer and that in itself is an art. And in today's world, whatever business you're doing, creating beautiful visuals has become very, very important. So that's why you shouldn't skip this video. If you have a mobile phone, then you can do a lot with it. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how I take beautiful pictures using my phone and the things you need to take into consideration before even taking the picture. Just watch and I hope you can pick a thing or two here that will help you project your business better to the general public. So let's get right into the video. you need to put into consideration is the type of phone you're using be sure that your mobile phone you're using can take good pictures so when I say you need a good camera I don't mean you have to get a very expensive phone I use an Infinix phone which is not exactly a high-end phone so but then your camera should be at least 13 megapixel that's my own recommendation the next thing you need to do is to clean up the lens of your camera with a soft cutting fabric I would advise you always make use of the back camera. For most phones, it is much better than the front camera. So pick up your fabric and clean up the lens properly. So that can make a huge difference. The next step is to ensure that your background is clear enough. It should not be crowded with fabrics, clothes, and a lot of things in the background that may cause distraction. So I'm making use of this background. I have other backgrounds I use, mostly plain backgrounds with a little touch of flower hours here and there so that will look perfect for your outfits or even for yourself or a model if you're taking a picture of a model the next step is to ensure that you have good lighting so natural light does a lot of good work so if you're taking your pictures outside that can come in very handy you don't need any extra source of light especially if the Sun is high but for me, I have these two regular bulbs above me and then I also have this um, connection I improvise here that I just attach a bulb to and it's connected to a power supply this way. So that way I just have light behind the camera so I have a good lighting. So the next thing you need to ensure is that your uh, mannequin or your model is well positioned at the background. Like I said, your background has to be clear so that there won't be any distraction. So once that is done, take your camera, position it rightly. You can play around with the exposure and the flash. Make sure your flash is on, especially if you need additional lighting. Then play around with the exposure. You can switch between different modes your camera provides and then you take your picture so while taking your picture don't forget to play around angles okay that would just give life to the design play around the angles you can go above you can start below you can twist to the side you can tilt it a little bit as long as you take beautiful pictures and so a lot of times i take pictures of myself by myself weird right okay so i'm able to achieve that through the use of this tripod stand so it helps hold my phone. I just attach my phone and position it where I want it to be. Then I connect it to this Bluetooth device. Okay, it's a wireless device that makes use of Bluetooth technology. So it is con I connect it to my phone and that way I'm able to take my pictures. The only lose in that case is that you may see me just folding my hands, you know, folding my hands. I don't want it to be obvious, but at the same time, you might just be able to see it from the pictures that my hands are not relaxed. So that's the only downside with that. Yes, I actually feel comfortable taking my pictures. From experience, I've seen that when I take pictures of myself, I don't feel too shy or too conscious because I'm free, there's nobody there, it's just me, so I can be weird and, you know, just take nice pictures. So this and the tripod stand helps me achieve that. So if you want to be able to take your own pictures, you can look into getting that. They are not that expensive. They're actually not expensive and they are very functional. That's what I also use in recording my videos. Like, I'm alone right now in the room where I'm recording, but then I'm able to make use of my tripod. My phone is right on the tripod and 
you are able, I'm able to film this so it can come in really handy. Next thing I'll be mentioning is about negative spaces. So that's the way your background appears, the, the, the volume of space you have behind you so it can affect the general look of your pictures at the end of the day so while negative spaces are great for outdoor photo shoots or maybe you're going camping and you just want people to have a feel of the environment for taking pictures of your outfit i would say you should eliminate negative spaces you don't need a lot of negative space you know you want your focus should be on the clothes. We are talking of dresses and clothes and mannequins or on your model right now. So we want the focus to be on the clothes. So don't let there be too many things, too many spaces, even if it's an empty space, you don't need it to take away the focus from the dress you're trying to project. So just make sure your camera is closed and you just capture from the top to the full length of the fabric with not so much space around at the top and at the bottom. So position your camera in that way to get that kind of shot. The next point I'll be mentioning is about digital zooms. The zooming you are able to make on your phone, so avoid it, it can affect the quality of the picture. It generally reduces the quality of the picture and you don't want that. So avoid zooming in instead of zooming in move closer to your subject and that we just do it so once that is done the next thing you want to ensure is that you edit your pictures so i want to advise you to post raw pictures on your social media handles you need to edit them for editing i make use of snapseed and um, inshot so inshot does a perfect job and also snapseed allows you select selectively adjust some areas and uh, just smoothing out the background a little bit so i love making use of snapseed a lot so that is how i take my pictures and these are the apps i use in editing so if you like to see me edit a picture let me know in the comment section and so that will be all for this video and i'll be seeing you in the next one